Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and ooh, we have had the turkey, we've had greens, dressing, uh, mac and cheese, all the lovely fixings, and we've also been doing Black Friday shopping. Yay, sales! I'm overwhelmed. I don't know about you all, but I'm overwhelmed with everything, and I'm kind of in a sense of paralysis for us pulling the trigger on actually buying stuff. But maybe that's a good thing. But anyway, you all, today we are doing our favorite video of the week, and that is weekly candle post burn review time. I know, right? I'm excited. Yeah, we're very chill, very laid back, and yeah, we have six candles to discuss today, but yeah. We'll have some fun and get right on into it. Lipstick of the day, everyone. The lipstick of the day is one of my newbies I shared recently, and this is from MAC, and this is the shade Mull It Over. This is one of their Powder Kiss lipsticks. By the way, Powder Kiss lipsticks are on sale right now, which normally they never do go on sale at MAC. So this is the time to get those, and yeah, Mull It Over on the lips. Next up, we have Fragrance of the Day, everyone. Elves, Fragrance of the Day. You saw me do a whole video on this scent, so you know it's real. And this is none other than my first time ever doing a blind buy. And this was the Mont Blanc Signature scent. I will link the video in here right now for you all to check out later, if you haven't already done so. Basically, I smell like vanilla cream and clementine right now, so. I feel happy and I feel luscious and I feel yummy. Mm -hmm. Mont Black Signature. When it comes to the weekly candle post burn reviews, we rate candles by three categories. Those three categories are burn experience. How was the actual burn? Did it keep nubbing out? Did it keep mushrooming? Did it suit a whole lot? Did we talk about it in that area? Section number two, we talk about throw, which is on a scale of one to ten. One being unscented wax, ten being powerhouse i smell it on me and my clothes like it's a perfume and then the third category which is the most important category always and that is would i repurchase this again and that is a yes or no answer basic straight to the point so all right let's get into these candles y'all so believe it or not i decided to go against the grain and pick a summer scent and this is from bath and body works a single wig this is endless weekend everyone endless weekend this was an office scent this bad boy gave me absolutely no problems. Flawless victory on the burn, everyone. Check it out, single wick goodness. And I love that the single wicks really do take their time of burning. This is one of the older versions where it actually has the scent notes on here, so I'm gonna share that with you all. The notes of Endless Weekend are Summer Mandarin, Sun Kissed Magnolia, and Coconut Water. Burn time is the same as a three week, which is 25 to 45 hours. So life hack, you still get your time, you still get your bang for your buck out of the single weeks. Don't believe the hype that only three weeks are the best. Not necessarily. And then too, these are great for gifts this time of year, everyone. If you need some quick stocking stuff bears, you can get them at a good rate, especially if they keep having them at like $5.95 plus you tack on a coupon. You got you some cheap gifts that are very impactful. But anywho, Endless Weekend, everyone. Shameless plug for gift giving. Um, Endless Weekend was very good. The throw on this one was an eight. It smelled like fruity goodness. I felt like I was on the beach again in the middle of November. So I am here for this single week scent. It filled my entire office. I'm pleased with it. Would I repurchase this one again? Yes, I would actually. I'm glad I had two of this. So now I'm, this is my last one of Endless Weekend. So if it comes back out again, I will be getting some more of Endless Weekend. Fabulous. The next one up, I was excited about this one because I got it during SAS and it's technically a tester scent for more so your wallflowers and your room sprays and that type of thing. And this is the scent Sensual Amber. Yes, Sensual Amber. I've seen it floating around as a body care and I see people buy it and it still has a nice cult following about it. So I wanted to get the candle version. And yeah, I looked up and got it during SAS. Um, so Burn Experience, Burn Experience, it did very well. Excuse the wax all on the side. That was my doing. I bumped the candle when it was done and it was cooling off. So disregard that, but it did what it need to do. It was a flawless victory as well. Honestly, you all, the single weeks give me less headache than the three weeks. They are way more consistent from Bath and Body Works. Just saying, I don't know if I had mentioned that. Sensual Amber is a Bath and Body Works candle. <laughs> I have to say that. Now throw, throw on this candle. Mm, this is good. It has a whole lot of amber in here. Like it says, sensual amber. I personally enjoy amber as a scent note. I wear it in a lot of my perfumes that I wear. So to have it a amber candle was exciting. 
this to me is very grown folks posh like i to me this is more of a signature scent type of candle throw on this one was an eight as well very very good because i kept sniffing it i kept looking over it i said oh this has my attention it made me pay attention to it being in the room honey i was like yes this is really good so would i repurchase this one again unfortunately like i said it's not a true candle it's a test candle and yeah i'm glad i bought two of them though so i do have a backup so would i repurchase this one again if they ever make it a true three wick yes i would that is sensual amber fabulous scent all right we're gonna skip on over to goose creek land and we have a goose creek jar candle to share this time and we finished up the sweet banana bread candle this is the large jar style from goose creek and as you all can see honey we got a lot of soup there <laughs> yeah it began to really really suit towards the end it is honey something serious now with goose creek candle the notes are typically online as a refresher the notes in sweet banana bread are baked banana swirl vanilla butter and homemade bread honey let me tell you something Goose Creek is having their Black Friday sale. It's the best candle sale out of everybody's sale. Yes, I'm saying that right here, right now. 60% off. It is a wonderful sale. It's blowing everybody else out the water. It is what it is. And, but you know who? Sweet Banana Bread is amazing. You all, this was a bakery lover's dream. This candle was so good. I mean, wow. I know I had it before, but this time around, I enjoyed it a whole lot more. I burned it in my bedroom. It's a two-week candle. So, yes, yeah, it did suit a lot, but the wax burned down evenly, as you can see. That's one thing I like about the two weeks in these large jar style of candles. I mean, it's great. Throw on this one. Throw on a sweet banana bread. I give it an 8.5. It was an 8.5 like it was a bakery scent that it was consistent i smelled the sweetness i smelled the dough i smelled the banana in it every time i burned it the scent did not change as it burned down it was consistent throughout the entire duration of me burning this candle it was fantastic so would i repurchase this one again you already know the answer right now that's a yes this was phenomenal it's still available on goose creek's website so you can pick it up while it's on sale again this is the sweet banana bread candle Alrighty, everyone now we are back into bath and body works but now we're doing three wick candles so this one is the white barn core packaging and this is the candle pumpkin spice latte in this nice halloween orange packaging the notes in pumpkin spice latte were pumpkin pie spice freshly brewed espresso homemade whipped cream sprinkling of cinnamon sugar all right everyone beautiful burn no issues i didn't have to do nothing to it it did what it needed to do great excellent burn experiences i'm grateful now throw on a scale of one to ten this is where we lose esteem this is where we lose momentum you all this candle this candle was a three it was a three that's not good a lot of times i forgot it was burning and then every blue moon i will get a little whiff of coffee in the, in the air i'll get a little smell of coffee i didn't get any pumpkin i just got coffee but weak coffee, like watered down Keurig coffee. That's what I got out of this. Yeah, this that was this ain't good at all, y'all. Pumpkin spice latte, no. It's light, it's very light. I would want my money back if this was a drink in a, in a coffee shop. I would literally want my money back, no. So you already know the answer to what I repurchased this one again. So y'all know, know what I'm gonna say, right? No, it's no on pumpkin spice latte. Do not buy this, do not waste your money. It's a no for me. Just spend your money on the actual drink. Now, the next candle we're going to talk about is White Barn Core Packaging, and this is Vanilla Bean, everyone. Vanilla Bean. Ah, and this is the new version of Vanilla Bean that has nutmeg in it. So, burn experience on this one was beautiful. It did suit a little bit, though. Let me say that. It started to suit a little bit towards the end. That's when the wax started to get a little dirty there. So, just be careful of that towards the 75% to 100% burn mark. Now throw on this one. This thing filled the entire room. Do not believe what everybody always says about vanilla candles, about them being weak and you can't really smell them. I literally could smell this candle. I could smell it in my staircase and I could smell it downstairs in the living room. It filled the entire room. It greeted me on the steps. So vanilla bean, this version, the $25.50 version, this one to me was a nine. 
it was a nine like it was it was still soft like a vanilla candle but it still filled the entire room it was kind of fascinating how this worked out this was a nine to me I totally enjoy vanilla bean. Would I repurchase this one again? Yes, I would. Again, one of the most slept on, most underrated candles at Bath and Body Works. Give this one a shot. I think it's fabulous. All right, everyone. The last candle I bought because you all swear by it and claim it's a holiday classic for you all when it comes to fall season scents. It's a fall classic for you all. Let me correct it. Fall classic that you all claim everybody loves, everybody was obsessed with. I had never bought it before. I said, let me just see. Let me try it. And this scent is none other than Pumpkin Apple from Bath and Body Works. Yes, Pumpkin Apple, everyone. The notes on Pumpkin Apple are red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, clove buds. This is nice. Wait a minute. Time out. I did not read the notes in Vanilla Bean. V vanilla Bean's notes are Madagascar Vanilla Bean, homemade marshmallow, warm cinnamon nutmeg. That's Vanilla Bean. Now back to pumpkin apple. Pumpkin apple, everyone. So, pumpkin apple, let's talk about it. This candle gave me the blues burning. It was a job. I had to babysit it. It kept nubbing out. I had to keep relighting it. And I was mad about that. Otherwise, like it didn't suit bad or nothing like that, but it just was a job to deal with. And I'm just, it's not fun. It's not relaxing. That's why I burn candles for relaxation. Okay, now throw. The scent on this, oh yeah, it fills the room. The scent on this is 8.5. Definitely fill the room. You get the spice, you get the whole pumpkin. It smells like quintessential fall. So I give it its props and I see why people love it because it smells like old school fall in a candle form. Now, would I repurchase this one again? The fact that it's so old school is very generic of a fall scent. So pumpkin apple, I do not want to purchase you again. So this one is a no for me. Nope. It's too, it's too cliche. It smells like everything else to me. It's, no, I don't have to have it. So, all right, everyone, that wraps up this edition of Weekly Candle Post Burn Reviews. Elves, let me know what you think in the comments below. You all have had a lot to say in my videos, especially my last one concerning Black Friday. <laughs> but alas, I love hearing from you all. And as usual, I always respond. So, yeah, until next time, Elves, I will catch y'all in the next video. Oh, quick reminder. Elfmas is coming. Elfmas is coming, aka Vlogmas. I am doing Vlogmas this year for December. I'm so excited. So get ready for a whole lot of content because, uh, yeah, your girl is ready. I'm excited. And yeah, there's been a lot of things in there y'all been requesting that will be in these videos. So get excited. All right, y'all. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.